questionable to close calls? Yeah, I mean, I mean, obviously they see the replay. Sometimes it's, it's very hard to, you know, referees kind of, depending on the refs, they kind of call it different. I know one on the SMB uh, on the third down, he kind of threw a little curl. I think the ref seen a hand on the outside, so that's why they called it. But the other ones, I'm not sure. Christian got pushed with two hands. I thought it was going to be OPI. Um, so, yeah, but it's just tough calls, tough plays. And uh, those are – obviously, there aren't X players or big plays for us, but those are the same things, you know, kind of letting them off the hook. They're getting these penalties, and they keep getting these first downs, and they eventually driving down the field on us. When, when he's making a 16-yard backward play, Watson, and, and then you give them 37 yards back yeah. right away, I mean, it's kind of feel like a kill. Yeah, I mean – you get them in those type of situations as defense, we have to capitalize on that. And we wasn't able to do that today. Like I said, just the self-inflicted wounds uh, allowed them to continue to drive, continue to drive. And uh, we did some, we played good in some spots where we was able to get off the field, force the field goal, whatever it may be, uh, but it just wasn't good enough. What about just three, three games overall? Defense? How would you evaluate it? Um, you know, we say we want to be a good defense, but unless we stop, you know, hurting ourselves and, and these, like I said, either big plays or penalties that, eventually turn into a big play. Uh, we can't be a good defense until that happens. So uh, we just had to continue to watch the tape, keep fighting, keep battling, and, uh, you know, that's all we can really do. When you guys are coming in, Raymond was saying, you know, it's a long season. Is that really the only way that you could uh, look at things after a loss like this? Yeah, I mean, you just had to go back to the drawing board. Um, there's not a lot of, uh, you know, situations like that. It's very easy to kind of, you know, get buried. Uh, obviously, we know. I wouldn't say the media or nothing like that, but they're going to say we suck and all this. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what we had to take on the chin is what it is in the professional football. Um, but for ourselves, we have to continue to try to chop wood and figure out ways to get better and continue to get better. And uh, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do as leaders, uh, not letting anybody get too down on ourselves. We're one and two. We haven't played in division games just yet, so we have to keep fighting throughout the year. Thanks to Phil for the season. Um, what is it about a passing game that, that time can, can do so much for? Uh, a lot, passing game. You know, it's it's not easy, especially when you got new receivers. Uh, but Deshaun has some good receivers over there, uh, and they showed today those guys help him out. Um, so you know, I think uh, you know, I think he'd be all right. You know, I think uh, he has the, the pieces around him uh, to be good, and uh, you know, getting getting the uh, number eight. Um, you know, I watched him in college, liked his game. Uh, and I feel like. Deshaun to be all right, and he's a competitor, he's a dog. Uh, he really doesn't listen to the outside noise, never did. Uh, and I mean, it showed today. I think, to be honest, just mistakes were on us. I mean, they, they brought pressure, they brought some movement and stuff that, you know, a lot of teams do. I mean, our team does it in camp too. I mean, at the end of the day, we gotta just be better at seeing it and, and better, you know, keeping our eyes up and, and not letting that pressure affect us and stuff like that. And then. We got to be better on cadence. And a few times we're, we're giving up cheap penalties and just getting us into crappy situations. Um, I and mean, at the end of the day, with, with a game like that, you, we just got to be better as a group. You know what their pass rush can bring, and you guys kind of prepared for it all week. Why were they still able to be effective with it? Um, situations. I mean, when we put ourselves in third and ten, second and ten, when we're putting ourselves in third and I don't know, should we, do we have a third and twenty-five or something or more? Maybe. Um, yeah. When you get in situations like that, that pass rush is going to, you know, they're going to be effective. That's exactly what they want. And it's, I mean, they're just licking their chops, and, and we let them let them have that opportunity. Obviously, it's a very good defense over there. But mm -hmm. how much of it was, was them, and how much of it was y'all? You think in terms of the pressure they were able to get. I mean, you got to give them credit. I mean, they, they freaking play hard there in the NFL team. And they, they, they came here prepared, and they played a great game. Um, so got to give them credit. At the same time, we just got to be better. We got to be better with opportunities. Um, we cannot shoot ourselves in the foot. And then when we when we see those pressure looks or when they bring something different, we got to be able to respond, be able to, to see it, and then at least get the ball going you know, forward, get something out of it, and then come back and then go to the next play and find a way to beat it. And um, I, I just think we just never did that today. And we never were able to get in a rhythm. I mean, we had plenty of three and outs. Um, just gotta, it's one of those games you just got to be all better. And I, I think it's... It's more on us, but I'm not going to. You got to give the Browns credit. I mean, they are a good team. Um, they came here prepared. They were. They did an excellent job, and and so give them credit. Nothing against them, but we also got to be better. Offensively, offensively but, uh, what were they doing defensively that you could tell to kind of limit what you guys were trying to do? Yeah, I mean, they were, you know, applying pressure. Obviously, um, they had a lot of time. 
um, and switching up the looks in the back end. So there was a few times where, you know, we thought we had a certain coverage and it wasn't that. So that, you know, was affected us. And, you know, in this league, it takes just one play sometimes and a couple plays uh, that could change a game. Yeah. So short. And you, you're able to get those plays last week when you needed them against against the Chargers, and I assume you guys were, you know, kind of holding out hope. All right, we can we can do that because we've shown the we, and then it just yeah. never came. How, how frustrating is that? Yeah, extremely frustrating just because we know we can do it. Um, it's gonna be tough to watch the film because there's obviously gonna be things that you know we could have done better. Um, but yeah, we just gotta stick together, come together as a team, and, and get ready for next week. Limited opportunities, it seemed to. How, how tough is that? Just knowing you work all week and you have a game plan for what you want to do, and then that stuff gets nullified. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, you know, obviously we want to first off win the game, um, so that's frustrating. And then, you know, you want to play the way that you expect to play, and we weren't able to do that. Thanks. Nick.